okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be starting off with fiddle craft uh, oscillation okay so let's get started fiddle craft oscillation okay so we have a benzene ring and we have acid chloride okay benzene ring and acid chloride and again in the presence of AlCl3 what will happen is again this Cl will attack on AlCl3 to form AlCl4- and positively charged carbocation which is attached with directly attached with oxygen atom it would be stable why because of the formation of our iit like cation in which it can have a resonating structure like something like this okay and obviously lcl4 minus okay now what happens is benzene ring will actually attack on this carbocation and form something like this okay so this product is formed okay so now what uh, are the advantages of actually alkyl acylation over alkylation advantages of acylation over alkylation So the the first advantage is obviously rearrangement is not possible or rearrangement doesn't take place because of the formation of our resonance stabilized cation or IIT cation which is itself so much stable that it doesn't does not re need any rearrangement. Okay. So rearrangement does not take place. because of formation of resonance stabilized cation and we internally call it as IIT like cation okay which is highly stable second example is or second ad advantage is that polyalkylation does not take place because ring is ring becomes deactivating as the ring becomes deactivating okay so we have something like the benzene ring after reaction with co uh, cs3cocl it becomes something like this and benzene has to show plus some character to the cocs3 group hence it becomes deactivating okay now let us see some um, Before continuing on seeing the means writing the mechanism of various products which undergoes fiddle craft oscillation, uh, let us let us make a quick fact or a note that uh, hyperconjugation actually does not take place in C double bond O aldehyde, amide, and ester. Okay. So whenever you have to compare any stability in any intermediate in which you have some similar structures like C double bond O or aldehyde, amide, ester, then you have to just remember that hyperconjugation does not take place in the likes of C double bond O, aldehyde, amide, and ester. Okay. 
just remember this fact okay now you have to write the mechanism along with major products formed okay for the following examples the first one in the line is you have something like a benzene ring with obviously this is structure in which you have acyl or acetal group not acetal uh, acyl group acetal is different okay this is the same oxygen okay now we are again reacting with it with H plus so what actually happens this actually reacts on it and we get something like a positive charge here and a OH group attached here what will happen benzyl will react on it fiddle craft oscillation will take place and we'll get something like this okay and if we get some strong enough acid again what will happen is strong enough acid then even then the carboxylic acid then what will happen again we will get a positive bond positively charged carbocation as intermediate 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 member ring can be formed something like this okay so this is the major product formed and we wrote the mechanism via forming the uh, when we were forming the product itself okay second example is we have something like this so what will happen in this case is We will have something like O will give its lone pair to this and we will have a negative charge here ok and then what, what will happen is this will get positively charged and this will actually remove itself from the this bond so we'll get something like oh, this is not a reversible we'll get something like this positive charge here and double bond O O negative and CS3 this one negative will actually attack on ELCL3 this is taking presence in taking this, this taking place in presence of ELCL3 so now benzene will actually attack on this formed acyl group so as a result acyl group would be formed something like this okay and obviously this is stable because of presence of IIT like cation okay which is highly stable and we get something like this structure okay Oh, minus charge here and if we do something like a hydrolysis uh, we provide H plus acidic medium in this so we'll get and ALCL3 would be released okay and if, even if we do the hydrolysis part it will be good enough to form acetic acid okay next example is we have a benzene and we have a acetic acid what will happen suppose this is a stronger acid than acetic acid we'll get again this group 
benzene will actually attack on this carbocation and it will form acyl group okay let's look at another example we have something like a benzene ring and cl c double bond o ch2 in again cl okay let's 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 say we have one more ch2 cl here so in presence of again el cl3 what will happen first this cl will leave for el cl3 and form el cl4 minus this will get a positive charge and benzene ring will react on this carbocation or attack on this carbocation and nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction will take place we will have something like this c double bond o and cl next what will happen again this cl will again attack on al cl3 to form al cl4 minus as a result we will have something like this structure okay so now is it feasible to form a five member ring one two three four five or is it more feasible that again a uh, phenyl ring attack on this positively charged carbocation i think the second option is much better okay had it been a six member ring then it would it would have readily attached itself on the benzene i am not saying that it will not uh, not undergo attachment with the five member ring it will but it would be a minor product we are talking about the major product so the major product would be something like again this okay oh i actually missed the co part this is c this is co okay okay so even acylation or for as further acylation will not take place also because of there is a strong minus m presence okay so this would be obviously deactivated ring so this is also one of the reason wherein this phenyl ring will not attack on this six, this uh, positively charged carbocation hence we need a separate phenyl group phenyl ring okay so with this we come to an end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be seeing some more examples on friedel craft acylation okay till then good luck and goodbye